Why not? Better off. Strong power line. Pain. All you feel is pain. You know what to bring the pain now. You wish it was. Miss it. You don't miss it. You do. You're a brace. Why? Why not? The pain. Okay. Do you remember how she made us feel? Who? Who? Do you remember how she made us feel? Warm. Like I was she the only one. She made us feel. What? I think I said warm. She made us feel as if we were less. Then zero. How can you say that? Remember how she touched you when you were the only person in her life? Remember when she touched you because you were the only person in her life at the time? The clock is ticking. The longer you wait, the longer you take up space. The longer you take up space, the longer you have proof that everything is okay. The longer you wait, the more pain you feel. You know where you're going to end up if you go through with this, right? Hell. And I'm sure we can all agree that we don't want that. Our hell is greater. Damnation is worse than anything that you need to shout. Damnation is mere salvation for what we're going through. Maybe it's just a cry for help. Remember, Julie? <clears throat> Sidorus is horizontal, not vertical. A cry for help. You remember it, don't you? Curly hair, shoulder length. Julie, from school. You know, this is ringing a bell, yes? This is ringing a bell. You know who I'm talking about now, don't you? The sophomore social. Everyone had a date, even you. Everyone except Julie. She showed up, everyone was dancing. She just sat there and watched the last of her childhood just slip away from her. Jimmy McIntyre still punching her on purpose, and everyone laughed. Even you. Instead of helping, the laughter just spread. All she wanted was an apology, but she left. That was the night it happened. She went home, slid her wrist twice, and went to bed. Her mother came in to see how the dance went, but all she found was a daughter like that. She went to the hospital for treatment, but that was the last time anybody ever saw Julie Wallow. When she died, Julie, yeah, two weeks later, <coughs> she finished the cross in a bottle of aspirin. No, no, no call for help. Just her, her bathtub, and her father's grave. She couldn't live with the shame. Couldn't live. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, I'm pretty sure she was Jewish. Protestant. What? Jewish. She was Protestant. Right, right. Protestant, Jewish. What's the difference? No, wait. What do you mean, what's the difference? There is a huge difference. Okay, Christians believe that Jesus is the Son of God, the Messiah. Jews do not. God damn it, that is a major difference. My apologies to the oversensitive asshole. She was a fucking Protestant. That's why she did, you know. It's true. Protestants attempt suicide twice as much as any other religion. Catholic, Jewish, you name it. This is true. Case in point. You're not really going to start a letter like that, are you? It sounds so immature. I, I mean, is that really what you want people to think? He's going to fucking kill himself. He is mature. That's not the point. I mean, why not die for a cause? I mean, don't just say you're tired of living. What are you tired of anyway? Is that masturbation, watching TV? It's, it's all you do. I mean, what is so wrong in your life that you're so willing to just Throw it away. Do your ends really justify your means? All I'm saying is that God is watching. You must be thinking of Santa, or if you honestly think that God is watching. And he's looking out for you. Where is he? He went away just like everyone else in your life. Where is the miracle that is going to save you from your personal hell? Or not exist? Just because he doesn't answer you doesn't mean he doesn't exist. No matter what. He does not want this for you. Is it better to not exist or to be ignored? Catholic school and raised in the church, baptized and confirmed, and someday, one day married, all in the church. Don't you think you would hold us in a little higher regard? He saved you when you were born. You remember that story, don't you? The story that made you feel like you meant something? You were born with a hole in your lung and you had to stay in the hospital for two weeks. Remember your mother telling you that the doctors thought you were allergic to milk because you couldn't pull down your formula? Ah, the joys of modern medicine. Nurses couldn't find their way out of shit that the 50 cents in a place they bag. That doesn't even make sense. You're not even making sense. The point is that the point is shut up. Remember? What was the doctor's name? Oh, I'm sorry. You want my help now? 
Two seconds ago, you thought I was the dumbest person in the world, and now you're kissing my nuts? Never mind. The point is, is that the whole healed after so many prayers by your parents. The doctors held your recovery as a miracle. You are their miracle. Don't just throw that away. Born American, and all for what? So you can throw your life away like it's nothing? Look at yourself. You fucking fat. You pathetic people need hope. A caseworker is what he needs, not hope. You're going to hell. However, you're in hell now, so your options pretty much suck. Want to know what I would choose? Hard. So you preach to him about putting a piece of metal in his wrist and lose the one thing that he has left in his life? He should live and fulfill this dream to grow up. What do you care? You're the selfish one. You do it, and you die too. Non-existence is better than dealing with you. You should do it and get out of his head if you want to do it so bad. He should survive. He is worth it. You would want him to die. Just so you could ruin his life support. He's a perfect life is cold. He's polite. He listens. He gets walked on by anyone with a vagina and high heels. High heels and lipstick. He gets walked on because he can't open up. He can't open up because you're a pussy. Honestly, can we have a conversation without you calling me a pussy? Oh, I'm sorry. Would you rather I say bot? No! Beaver? Okay, no, alright? I'm trying to go somewhere. What about the bubble gum by the bum? Oh, yeah, that's that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. You can tell me. I started that right now. Really? <laughs> Look, it, you know what? It doesn't matter what we call it. Okay, it doesn't matter, because I am none of those things, and I, You know what? I've completely lost my train of thought. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, you're doing so well. well. You know what? Thank you. But you're really, really not helping me. Well, you obviously have the foggiest clue about what the fuck is going on. So please, allow me. Now, what my friend here is trying to say is that you have no backbone whatsoever. Look at at first glance, you look like an invertebrate. Serious, man. You really need to work on your energy. And I think we all know that if you want to get anywhere in life, you need to start listening to me and drop this mama's boy douchebag before you ruin your life even more. Uh, I think you need help, not ruin. Do you hear anybody? I don't think so. Now let's start with standing up to your girlfriend. Forget her. What's that? You heard her. Forget her. You know what I like her. You know that's the person that you say that makes any sense? Fuck her. You know, it's funny how someone like him could have found someone to love. We'll find another soon enough. But how can you replace his true love? You think that's his true love? Oh, no, but I think he won't do any better. He will. I feel that he can. Okay, let's say he does. How does he lose the pain of her? He won't. The void will always be there. The girl's coming out. Look at him and tell me that he wants someone else. He doesn't. He wants her. Can you blame him? He doesn't know what he wants. He wants marriage, but he can never handle it. There you go again, thinking you know what's best for him. I do. He won't go wrong if he sticks with me. Oh, he won't go wrong if he sticks with me. How charming the child is. Oh, come on. If he listened to you, he'd be wearing a white collar and masturbation would be a sin. But if he listened to you, he'd be wearing a white jacket. His arms would be padded in a, in a padded room. You know what? You know what? For your information, masturbation is a sin. Oh yeah? Well tell that to the six gigabytes of porn he has on his computer. But what do you think, Jenna Jameson? Should we stop bowling with the mission? That's cute. Yeah, mission. Prove me wrong. I'm running out of trails in this world. Days go by, and though I thought I knew it all, it seems I know nothing but the confusion that engulfs my life. I feel like I'm constantly being buried alive, so why not make it a reality? I want freedom from pain. It's not bad. It's something we can work with. It sounds too dramatized. No, it's, it's perfect. It, it expresses how it feels. It's just a shame that comes out on pain. Life is out there. When are you going to get that through your skull? You know what's not dramatized enough? Religion. What? Religion. Wow. Thanks, Sart. You know, your philosophy's really well thought out sometimes. Please, next time you have an idea, do us all a favor, fart, and let it go. <laughs> listen, listen, <laughs> religion and their, and their sacred supernatural realities are disappearing. I mean, God should be recognizable. 
Not cast aside like bills people can't pay. That's, that's pretty good. You know what? Put that in there. That's good. <laughs> Look, you want to talk about what you should live for, but let's talk about the world we live in. The world is harsh. I'll give you that. But do you honestly believe that this statement is ever really going to make it to the ears of the people it's about? Do you really think his parents that go into this way is suicide note like some kind of fucking religious relic? 70% of families lose a child in the force within the first year. So? So? What are his parents going to think? What, what are his parents going to do when he ceases to be? Have you thought about the fact that you're going to destroy your family? Think about that. Meditate on that. Do whatever it is you need to to realize Wait. that you are hurting more people than you. Wait! Wait! He knows the consequences of his actions. Does he? Look at him in his eye. Deep in his soul. And you tell me he truly knows what he's doing. It's, it's humanity. H-U-M-A-N-I-T. What? You just said that he was hurting other people. That he shouldn't go through with this. And here you are, helping him write his last one testament to this world? What matters is that he does it for the right reason. None of this emotional bullshit, you know? Look, I refuse to give up on him, okay? Do you hear me? I refuse to give up on you, okay? Realize that hurting yourself like this and hurting the ones you love will gain you no sympathy points. Everyone he loves already hurt him. What else is there to do but end in a quiet dignity? Do you think this is righteous? It's not. It's selfish, okay? You are corrupting his mind because you can't see that this could be where his life truly starts. All you say is that you, you want him to reach out and fucking try to survive. Hold him up. Fully go. Look at this. That is the craziest thing he's done all night. I agree. You know what? Just forget it. Wait. What do you mean? Forget What? I mean, shut up. Did we just hit a nerve? He said shut up. No, 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 I think. Did we just hit our moment? Oh, are we having a moment? Whoa, 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 whoa. We are not no, no, no. having a moment. I think we're having a moment not right here. There's me no and you and me. We are not having a moment. I mean, it, it kind of, it kind of, it kind of stings. It's like, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of normal. Insane. No, it's normal. Insane. It feels normal. Insane. Normal. Insane. Stop thinking. We are having a moment. There's no moment. Just let the silence put things back together. Sorry, but if the 
this is the only way that I can get through to him, then it's worth it. What are you saying? Ten. Moment of truth. Stop it. What are you doing? Proving that we have what it takes and that you are full of it. Nine. Now, hold on. If you do this, there's no coming back. I mean, this is it. Eight. Serious, man. You're joking around here. That's not cool. Seven. No joke. This is our moment of clarity. Thanks to you. You, you should be happy. This is what we've been fighting for. Now we know what has to be done. Six. No! I don't give you permission! Not on your terms! Now stop! I thought we were just talking! Talking's over! It's time to let the silence put things back in order. Got five. Damn it! Don't do this! Not now! He wants to live, right? Don't you want to live? Four. Well, not now! Not like this! Listen to me! You do this, and it's on you! Everything, everything that I said about it. dying for something? Saving someone other than yourself? Three. We can still do that if you just put that down. Two. Fuck your silence. Just put that down. Please, I'm begging you. You can fix it. You and I just like we always have. Give me a chance. Give me time. No more pain. Just give me more time. One. Moment of truth. 